The years go by, and the gap between HP's Spectre and Envy series grows smaller and smaller. As a result, the latter is getting more appreciated by the wide public, and slowly but surely, it seems to be eating into the user base of the Spectre. This sort of internal cannibalism is not new to the world. But if HP wants to continue selling its top-of-the-line products, it has to make something. One such effort is the Spectre X3614. It not only looks premium but happens to offer some great features as well. Instead of the conventional 16 to 9 aspect ratio of the display, the company went for a taller form factor. We are talking about a 3 to 2 display with either a 1280p IPS panel or a 3000 by 2000 OLED one. We'll talk more about the display later, but first, let's check out HP's work on the outside. Typically for a Spectre laptop, this device features sharp corners and chamfered edges. Unfortunately, the base is a bit twisty, but on the bright side, the lid is significantly stronger due to the glass display cover. It is great to see that HP provides you with a dedicated pen inside the box. And on top of that, it works very well with the display. Other features here include the fingerprint reader, and the optional IR face recognition scanner. Even though it is an extremely thin laptop, the Spectre X3614 features a full-sized USB port, two Thunderbolt 4 connectors, and a micro SD card slot. Not great, not terrible. Don't be surprised when you hear that the laptop doesn't let you upgrade its memory. Thankfully, it works in quad-channel mode, which results in a better bandwidth. And it becomes even better, as you still have an M.2 slot for storage expansion. You can take a look at our teardown video to see how to open the device. As we said, HP uses an astonishing OLED display made by Samsung. Its nature means that you get a mathematically infinite contrast ratio. In addition, the viewing angles are comfortable, while the maximum brightness reaches nearly 400 nits. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The panel covers fully both the sRGB and the DCI-P3 color gamuts, and you can choose between the two through HP's Display Control app. We measured its color accuracy in both modes, and surprisingly, the average Delta E value is below 2.0. This means you can do professional work both for the web, and for photography purposes. On the other hand, it uses low-frequency PWM up until 90 nits. After that, the pulsations become very weak. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Another downside of this display is that it is particularly harsh on the battery. The 66 watt hours unit lasted us for 7 hours of either web browsing or video playback. The Spectre X3614 is among the first laptops to come with the Core i7-1195G7. The cooling setup on the device utilizes a total of three heat pipes. They seem to do a good job, considering the space constraints of the chassis. However, it can't really cope with the high base clock speed stated by Intel. Still, the performance is on point, while the hotspot on the keyboard is below 40 degrees Celsius, which is great. Without a doubt, the highlight of this laptop is its OLED display. Its professional-grade color reproduction is something we rarely see. What is more impressive is that the factory calibration actually keeps up with the expectations, which is not very common. In addition to that, the Tiger Lake chips inside provide a great performance both in Adobe applications and in light gaming. The feature package is also strong, and the dedicated pen works great. On the other hand, Battery life is hindered by the same beautiful screen, and you have to bring a charger with you, should you be doing longer work sessions. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.